the Team Access Fit Home Workout Series. So today, we're going to talk about measuring your progress. Because yes, you can actually have progress from home. There's a few things that you can do to measure your progress. You can measure your weight, which doesn't give you a full picture of the progress that you're doing. Your weight only tells you your weight. Uh, and that can fluctuate from one day to the other, even from morning to evening, depending on what you ate, if you've gone to the bathroom, if you've had some water that day. You should also be measuring your body with a measuring tape around your bicep, your chest, shoulders, your waist, especially your waist. A uh, bigger, smaller waist will tell you much more than weighing yourself. The fat around your waist, stomach line, abdominals, is the worst kind of fat that you can have. So if you're, if you're looking to get healthier, you're looking to have a slimmer waist because it'll tell you that you've lost uh, abdominal fat, which is the unhealthy region to have fat. You, should all, you can also measure your quads, the biceps, your calves. If you're trying to lose fat and weight, it'll tell you where you're losing it. And if you're trying to gain muscle mass, well, it'll tell you where you're gaining it. Another way to measure your progress is to measure your performance. Uh, you can do that by measuring your 5K, seeing if you've improved from one month to the next. If I would have been in a gym, I could have tested my strength for the bench press, squat, deadlift. Uh, but since I'm home, I don't have access to all that stuff. Uh, but what I do have access to is my floor, so I can do push-up and uh, pull-ups. Now you can do this kind of test for basically any, any exercise and you'll be able to measure if you've gotten better. If you want to do, if you want to measure how strong your core has gotten, you can do side planks, uh, front planks and see how long you're able to hold compared to the first time you did it, when you recorded it. So it means you actually have to record it. Now I've tested my own push-ups and pull-ups. I invite you to measure your own. Uh, you can compare your push-ups and pull-ups to me. See if you're better or worse. Probably better. Uh, you seem to be not so good anymore. I've managed to get to 29 push-ups and I've managed to get my pull-ups to 13. Now, if you see in my thumbnail, I've also measured my weight uh, over time. So my picture on the left, the before, where I'm, I weighed uh, approximately 135 pounds and that is five years ago uh, and now I use the Renfo app to track my body changes, measurements, um, you can see here on the screen. If I look at my app here, my weight, I got up to 169 pounds and in the last month have lost a little bit of weight, uh, so I'm down to 165 point something. Um, and I lost that weight probably because my diet wasn't so good. I was probably eating a little bit less calories than I was when I was 169 pounds. Um, and I, I also exercised much less in the last month. Thank you, COVID. So for the next few weeks, months, we'll see. I want to improve my muscular endurance, uh, be able to do much more push-ups than 29 and increase my pull-ups to probably 20 at least. I'd like to be able to do 20 pull-ups without letting go of the bar and touching the ground with my feet. So in this at-home series, I'm going to be showing you my workouts, which is coming up at the end of this video. I worked out, I worked out three times this week, which was my goal.
So I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it was useful to you. And I hope that it motivated you to get active, get moving, doing it from home, joining the movement, hashtag Team Access Fit, join the movement. So I'll catch you in the next one.